And today, like in the description, I mean, like in the title says, this is a Minecraft tutorial. For all the noobs that don't know how to play Minecraft or even like play the game regularly and are just like playing creative. You know, you gotta start by mining a tree. And if you're lucky or actually put a bonus chest in, grab the bonus chest. But I'll mine this tree first. Because the first rule on starting a Minecraft world is punch a tree. Now, grab all the stuff you need from the chest. It should be filled with good items that will help you along your way. And a pig almost scared me half to death. Now, make a crafting table. That is crucial in your survival. If you do not have a crafting table, you can't craft anything. Hence the name crafting table. Now whatever tools you got, it usually gives you a pickaxe and an axe. Sometimes the pickaxe is stone or the axe is stone. And if you're lucky enough, they both will be stone. Grab the chest. Now, for people that don't use bonus chests or don't get a lucky spawn as I did, same rules apply, just punch a tree. And if you spawn in a desert, you're probably at the worst spawn ever. It's called run until you find a tree. And well in deserts there are rabbits. And in any biome there should be a food source. So, you use that food source to eat. <laughs> Sounds like an awful tutorial, but obviously you need to eat in Minecraft. Because if you run out of the hunger bars, you won't be able to heal. And without healing, you'll die. Now, another good fact about these biomes, I forgot what this was called. Um they spawn in mossy cobble. Now, the best thing to find is a cave because that's the closest spot of coal without having to just slowly mine down. Now, any mobs that might help you along the way, like cows, sheep, those two are the best mobs you could come across. Only because cows drop leather and beef and sheep will drop wool and lamb chops. And because of this, the leather can be used for later end game stuff like enchantment books and sheep can be used to get a bed. Now what you need a bed for is to sleep, obviously. And if you don't sleep in Minecraft, well... There goes your safety for the Minecraft night. Because during Minecraft night, tons of mobs will spawn and try to end you. And if you die, well, you lose all your stuff. That's if you don't have keep inventory. Now, for the noobs that don't know the correct tool specific for each thing, like I've seen a lot of noobs do, is use a pickaxe for actual axe use. Pickaxes are only used for rock hard surfaces, as in stone, coal, iron ore. All that junk. 
Now, the reason why my sister isn't on here is because I'm doing a tutorial. So I don't need a noob, like, literally making me go down. And that's a drowned. The worst thing you could find underwater. Obviously. But in this case, sometimes you'd like to have a drowned. Only because they could drop a trident or the... I forgot what that blue orb was called. But they drop some kind of blue orb that helps... We you know a noctilus shell. Some kind of shell. I'm going to call it a conch shell. And, as you could see, by almost dying, I got the best weapon you could get early on. Now, this thing a tr is a trident. Tridents do 8 damage. They have specific enchants. Wait, what? Did a zombie villager just spawn? Or was that a regular villager that was lit on fire? That's weird. That was weird. Okay. Back to the tutorial. Um. Yeah, that's the basics. Mine a tree. Make sure to make a bed and find a food source. Now, part two of surviving. I gave you the most basic items, but the part two of this segment will be crafting. I just explained how you should start out. But, I never explained how to survive or even complete Minecraft. Now, to complete Minecraft is a total advancement over anything. Now, what they now do is this for the PlayStation 4 version. Well, the version they give now, if you have... Um, if you don't have classic crafting on. Now, for noobs, I suggest not to have classic crafting. Only because it makes it way harder and you need to memorize all of the recipes. This makes it super easy and simple for any noob out there. And remember, your crafting table is wood and chest are wood. Now, we have a wood sword. It's Minecraft up in here. As you can see, there's family of drowned here. And that will cause big problems. In the old days of Minecraft, there was an anything that would spawn on the water or in it now you have to worry about zombies in the water next thing you know they add some kind of stingray thing or squid will actually latch onto your face that would be the worst absolute worst now as you can see it's turning night I am screwed over. I have been screwed into place. I haven't found enough sheep. And there's my salvation. As you could see on the top right, there is a house, which can only mean a village and villages house villagers and now they house free beds 
And, uh, there's now skeletons spawning everywhere. As I said, uh, mobs spawn everywhere to try and kill you. There is no hope of you ever surviving without at least stone items. And that's a creeper! Oh, made it. Just in time, too. I'm about, I'm about to die. And villages give free protection. Oh, no. Ow. Ow. I am now running because I don't know how to make it back here. And I'm about to die. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. oh, no. Beef. Potato. My stone axe does as much damage as a wood sword. Oh! Food! And yes, if you find a village, you're pretty much set for life. As only that they give you food and protection due to the one iron golem they have. Now what I suggest is search all their houses. Only because... Chests. Villages contain chests, which house some pretty good items that, like, send you your way. Oh, and there's another bonus, is that these creepers hate cats. Boom! Run at a mob, it causes a critical hit, doing extra damage, and kills them faster. I mean, makes them die faster. Now, Emily's right next to me, but she needs to do her, um, schoolwork. I finished one. She only finished one out of, like, three. No. How many do you got? I had two, but then I did one, so I only have one. Oh, yeah, she did the easy one. And then, uh, just wants to I skip the hard one. Out hard. Oh well. Emily's just not here because she needs to do her work. Now, you have two choices. Either stay in the village, make a house near it, or keep on venturing. The choice is yours. I love to stay in villages just because it's just an amazing housing area. Villages are always so well placed. And there's a forest here. I found my my third sheep. And 
It's where my live stream world is. In my live stream world, I built my house near a village. And, well, it's just perfect. You can never go wrong with a good village. But if it's a super small village, just like quickly raid it. Get out of there, cause like, doesn't really give anything. If it's turning night, stay in the small village, take one of the beds, because those villagers aren't going to last long. Small villages don't get iron golems, sadly. And, well, that's just it. Now... Time to learn about caves. Caves often give good opportunities for advancements. Now, most noobs think, oh, a cave's super hard, super dangerous. As I show you, try to always take a buddy. And if you don't have anyone playing with you, man up. But if you're a female, still, man up. We're all human. Humans. The human race. We all consider as a man. Not the male man. Not the gender name for male. As in, we're all man. Not men. Man. Man. It's called man up. It's called Earn Your Battle Stripes. Women are strong too. Like there's no excuse for anyone to not go in a cave because they're scared. But if you're like, you know, 10 and you hear the creepy cave sounds, perfectly normal. You're obviously going to be scared. Like, who expects you to, like, you know, get brave that second? But if you're literally, like, 12 and above, it's called Man Up. You're about to face the real world in, like, 8 years or less. If you're 11 or below, you don't need to really worry. You're still kind of in elementary. And middle. But once you turn into a teenager, that that's just the line. You need to grow up. Sorry, but it's true. More responsibility comes with facing basic fears. But everyone gets scared when a creeper just suddenly spawns behind you and it's like, ah, poop. I'm dead because creepers explode and you can't exterminate them to get their stuff now if you're able to exterminate creepers easily good for you it's always called keep your distance if you don't keep your distance you're probably dead meat you're probably dead meat thank you Emily you're now a good setup is this just a small plot of land now to make a bed you need three wood three wool that means you're gonna have to hurt three sheep to get this and now you could set spawn points on the beds you make I set a spawn point on the bed over there but now it's right here great thing for me is I don't need to worry about when I if I die my stuff's gonna be gone forever but because I made a close spawn point I don't have to worry about it Because I could just run and get it. Now, 
another good style another good strategy is to stay near your home at all times because if you don't have a sense of direction well might as well say goodbye to your home if you don't know how to get back home what use was even making a home all minecraft players need a permanent home And what that permanent home does is store any valuables you have. And if you can't store your valuables, well, sorry kid, but you ain't gonna survive. My little sister Emily is now raging. You're still little. No, that's his sister. Roxanne. Now, it could even just be a super small house. Now, if you don't have a controller and are playing on the computer, this is basically the same thing, but not really harder. If you use the computer, then that's your way of playing. But if you're barely starting out on computer, I don't know how to help you there, buddy. And plus, you might not get as lucky. Now, earlier I said if you spawn in a desert area, you're pretty much screwed over. You're screwed in, you're stuck as Chuck. Or stuck like find, Chuck. Uh, Something like you that. Can find a village in there, no? You can find a sand village, yes. But, there's also another upside of finding a sand temple. Now, that's where the bonus chest comes into play. It gives you at least, at most actually, four torches. What torches do is prevent mobs from spawning. And if you prevent mobs from spawning near a sand temple or in the sand temple, you have yourself a home. And what that can mean, ladies and gents, is a free home provided by Mojang themselves. You're welcome. Take any structures you can. And no one's commenting this time. Probably yeah. Me. No, probably they didn't want to see a tutorial. But, oh well. Oh, dang it. What if I was in there? What if, and what if that? And what if... You now, later I will... Well, tomorrow I'm doing another live stream. I'm going to try and do another live stream with Emily. But she needs to do her work, sadly. It's her fault for not doing her work. I did one. You did one. Stop being lazy. I'm doing one each day. This is your basic house. This is all you could basically do right now. Don't care what it looks like. Now, the best thing to do is not build up. If you know you're a horrible player, don't build up. The worst thing that can happen fall damage. is fall damage. Now, what you should do is have a tiny house like this. Basic, real easy to make. You want to see a tutorial? Good. I'm basically teaching anyone how to play Minecraft. And always carry a crafting table if you're on an adventure. Pro tip is always 
Harry a crafting table. So yes, good words from a good person. I said that to Emily. So, trust me. Now, what you would want to do here is create an underground area. Sooner or later, you're going to want to carry your bed to these lower levels. Now, what would be good in this situation is a shovel. Shovels are used to, well, shovel out the ground. That should be obvious. But if you don't have any torches, I wouldn't suggest... I think your house is a little too small. Now, this is a noob house. This is what any kind of noob does. This is the most noob setup you could do. Just... Newbie. Hi! Too newbie. But, this is where the pro comes in. You start digging out from underground. You create your own underground house where anyone from the outside looking in is like, oh, this is just a noob's house. They don't know what they're doing. Not true. Now, we have our own dugout area. And more stone. Now these blocks are pure trash. They're just decorative. They're just there. I really don't like these blocks. But they could be used for blocks like this. Polished granite. Now, I have. Oh, yeah, forgot to mention Emily has scoliosis. Sadly. Now, after you've made the tiny room of a basement and you want to go lower you do the same exact process but take your bed and put it down here it is now much safer than having a creeper walk in on you and explode this explode this whole area this is the noob house you would eventually make. If you're actually good at building houses, this wouldn't be the noob house you'd make. But this is a noob house in a village. Another great beginner noob house is dig into a mountain. And in this case, if you've made a house like that, you'd have one door left, like me. Now this is great for mining stone. And while you mine out the stone, you could find things like coal. This is what any beginner would, any beginner should do, is this. You could fit a bed in here. Wait, not yet. You can now fit a bed in here. And this would be like, oh, emergency bunker. Now, if you have a good setup, like I've gotten, 
then you'd be able to live Minecraft worry-free, just keep on mining trees, just plant some oak saplings, just place, place, just bounce around and place, you know, just carefree, don't have to worry about anything. But if you're the adventurous type and don't want to stay in one house, you'd make tiny houses like that. That's why I said it's a good beginner house. But, thing is, sooner or later you're going to get so much stuff that you're going to want a permanent house. So either make multiple houses, which is not suggested, or make one giant house where it's noticeable at a high peak where you could always see it now for my setup I think the sun's going down again but there is a desert area way over there now if I were to swim to it take long this is where you should make a boat. Boats are great transportation for going over water. Always keep a crafting table. But, turning night, you need to run as fast as you can to the nearest bed or your own. If you don't, mobs will start spawning and start beating up your villagers. The great thing about villagers is their trades. Trades for and villagers go so well that they can give you good armor for emeralds. And in this case, all you would really need is probably farming some items. Now, what that does for you is you get emeralds if you farm the exact items they want or need. And if you give them their items, you get emeralds. And you could also buy items from them which cost a certain amount of emeralds. If you can't keep up, please comment. As I will show you, stone mason give this guy some clay gives you an emerald 10 clay is base he's basically saying 10 clay equals 16 bricks we all know that's a steal we're basically getting the best option cuz he's a novice and that is a problem. Right there. Right over there. Gang of skeletons. Under a tree. Will stay there until there is darker light. These guys don't give any trades. Look for the farmers. Give, they give away food. And they trade for food. So, if you like mining up food, he stole all of them. Eh, I'm hungry. No. He stole your potatoes. Ah, uh, my potatoes. Potatoes. Oh, no. That's yeah, you gotta make it there before him. Or they'll steal your potato. <gasps> my potato! Oh, now a pig wants it. Big ones are sheep. Now, a good fact for any beginner is the consumption of wood. Wood consumption. You need to watch out where all your wood is going because trees kind of take a while to grow. Now, might be wondering. Hey, I only got nine coal. I should watch out. 
Yes, I should. I should make as much torches as possible, but this will only work if I have tons of coal. Bone meal. Great. If you can't find a wolf, don't even bother keeping the bones. If you do, always try and keep some bones. But if you can't find any use for the bones, turn them into bone meal. Okay, this game is getting boring now. What coal gives and does is cook up whatever you need in a furnace. A furnace requires or needs eight stone. And stone is the next upgrade after wood. wood. Brown and white sheep make a child that can make gray or white. Now, what I want to do is go over there and try and find a sand temple or sand village. It is still early day. Once this rises from over there, goes to the middle, middle of the day. But if it's somewhere over there, you need a run. You only get 10 minutes every Minecraft day. Now, like I said before, boats are great transportation over the water. <sighs> Giving tutorials are hard. <laughs> but this better. is for any new Minecraft players that no one might want to, uh, well, no one has to comment. It's a tutorial. Yeah. All you need to do is listen. So you can't comment? Okay. Yes, you can comment on any questions you may or may not have. Or you could just talk. Or yeah, you could just talk. If you're excited. Or you now, could if you could do a talk about this. Emily, please stop interrupting. Now, if you find yourself in a lost land and can't find your way home, then, uh, retrace your steps the best you can. Or use a map. We know we, you can do it. Use a map. Oh my. I seem to have come across a ravine. And what ravines do, or give, I'm in. is resource. They can sometimes get you down to the level of diamonds, but not all the time. Now what you need to do is make sure you got good enough items. Look what I found here. Now, what I want to do is create another crafting table. Iron. I know, I already like said that. Iron. No wood. Now, the joy of always having wood on you and why you shouldn't automatically go underground is this exact reason. If you find yourself with a task that you're not able to do because you don't have any wood, then you have to resurface. But if you're underground, you'll never know when it's day or night, unless you have a clock. 
but not many, make clocks. So, and now it's raining. Andrew, this game is getting boring. You chose it. Emily is bored of a game she chose herself. There's no Spoiled. use to pick myself. Well, I mean, what can they do? It's There's a just game that's better. Obviously. There's always going to be a game that's better. Better. Plus, I'm better. Now I may have dropped my coal, but... Oh! About to fall right here. Luva. Now, what I can do is this. Oh my goodness. My character almost m made me jump off. This controller is not safe. Now, as I was doing earlier, I was digging straight down. You should never, ever dig straight down. That's like telling lava, hey, come t basically saying, hey lava, burn me alive. And then it burns you alive. And then you, uh, get burned, die. And I uh, lose all your stuff. You're basically telling Lava, Hey, I wanna meet you. I wanna... I wanna swim in ya. And then the game will say, So-and-so... Died. Well, burned. Because... They tried swimming in lava. Introducing even more music games. Who knew? Now... Food. I need more. <laughs> I can't catch up. Oh, da, 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 da. oh yes. Current die. Ah, sugar cane. This can end up giving you sugar. Who's that new king? Mm. Now, dolphins are also a great help. Whenever you're swimming, they give you a speed boost. Now, it has turned night, and now I will or might not die. Hmm? Anime. My sister goes crazy about anime, but knows nothing about anime. Still. Stop saying still. Still. Do you want to be granted? No. Then stop saying still. No. Cause still isn't a logical reason. Why? It just isn't. Why? Ooh. Oh no. And then you run out of food. And then you then you, oh. you die and lose all your stuff and you're dead meat. Help No one can help you because no one else is playing with you. Oh Oh no no no! Oh no no! Oh! Baby zombie! Why oh. you? Baby zombie! You oh. died! Oh. And you actually play just dance on here. Oh! And you, what does this mean? Mm, I got all my stuff. Oh my goodness. What is this name? Oh, that means you can't have it. Uh, 
My sister found out she can't have Just Dance on her tablet. <laughs> She's depressed now. Now, this guy doesn't last forever. Which guy? Oh, yeah. The Iron Golem. Iron. You can't heal him with iron in the PS4. Now, in other game systems, yes. Baby. But. Baby. 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 I'm gonna keep on saying until I get this stance. Baby. 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 Stop saying boo boo. Baby. Now, as you see, when you die, you drop all your stuff. On this, you have keep inventory. This has been the tutorial for Minecraft. Of basic mining, crafting, and battle. As you can see, you stop being a beginner after you find iron. Where you have your iron sword and your iron pickaxe. Now, you're good to live your nice Minecraft life. But, but, one thing you need to know is shields save you from basically anything. Creeper explosions included. If you get even one piece of iron, invest it in a shield. I'm the dead. best thing you could have is a shield. This has been the tutorial live stream. Thank you very much for watching, you one few viewer. This tutorial is meant for noobs and beginners. Anyone who wishes to play Minecraft, I hope you've enjoyed my performance. And hope to see y'all again next time. 